mostly on the evil little cousin. Let's see how you do with it then. I hope she treats you the same way she treats me. Babe, babe. Nah, don't babe me. I'm out. Peace. You're looking a little dirty, Mr. Fellow. You need a bath. Time to get you more dirty. Okay, just gonna put a little bit here. Lila, what are you doing? Yeah, she really thinks that she's gonna, she's gonna fuck me around. Oh! <laughs> Like you have to come. This little girl is crazy. Like crazy. Cra I tried to tell you. Yes, I I know you told me. That. I I understand that. But can you just come home? What she do now? What she do, babe? She has paint on the wall. Paint. paint on the wall. Paint on the bed. Paint on the floor. Like real paint. Yes, paint. I just said paint. Wait, can you just come on? I don't know what to do. How far are you? I'm already here. Okay, well you need her to come up these stairs now. Like hurry up, please. All right, I'm coming. Man. Okay. Try to tell this girl about this little girl, bro. Bro, this girl is a devil, bro. I try to tell you she's a devil walking. Layla also means devil, bro. She's the devil's daughter, but this girl don't never know how to act right, bro. I can't take this no more. Bro. That's why Jimmy on his way back here. You better get in that bathroom, clean all that paint off you. As a matter of fact, you might be going home. You know what? Clean the paint off you before you get into any more trouble. Now, go. Give me on your plate. Give me this. Give me that. Give me this. Wait, wait, even it's like Jimmy. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. Ugh. <gasps> Where is she at? Babe, you almost gave me a heart attack. Don't be busting through these doors like that. But she in a, she's in the bathroom. And then look, she slammed the door in my face while I was sitting there trying to talk to her. I can't take it anymore with her. Like, she is driving me crazy. I can't do anything without worrying about what she is doing without her doing something crazy. I, I really feel like I need a break. Oh, no. You are not leaving me here alone with that little girl again. I can't do it. That little girl is a demon. <laughs> Hey, Jimmy. Did you hear that? She even sound like a demon. I think y'all will be just fine. I personally, I can't do it anymore for her. Not right now. But I feel like, you know, if she's still being hurt and being bad, then we could just take her home to her mama. <laughs> I don't know, Tink. Please, 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 babe, please. I promise you, I'll be right back, please. I just need a break. Uh, fine, bro. <laughs> You better hurry back. That's all I know. Stinky, stinky, Jimmy, stinky. <gasps> Layla, I'm about to leave. You're going to have to be a good girl for Jimmy while I'm gone. Because since you've been here, you've literally been nothing but trouble. And I'm going to give you a second chance to be good and be nice. Do you understand me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be all my bestest, bestest behavior. You promise? Yeah, I promise. I picky, picky promise. And my hands are not crossed behind my back. Me and Jimmy Boy are going to have Okay, this is your last time. This is the last time. The last time. I don't even care. This is the last time. Jimmy's gonna watch me. I don't wanna be with this stinky cootie having Jimmy. Alright, y'all. I'm gonna see y'all later. Bye, cousin. Bye, babe. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. You better mean what you say, little girl, and be good because I am not Tink. I will take your butt to your mama house. Excuse me? You hate me, you little buster. Buster? My cousin Tink is the one that wears the pants in this relationship. Yeah, all right. And you do whatever my cousin say, like, look at you. She said, give me, stay with the girl. You know what you do? You stayed with me. Little girl, you're delusional. Yes, you are. Tink is not where the pants in this relationship. I don't know where you got that from, but I wear the pants in this relationship. You just trying to start trouble like you always do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomato, potato. If you wore the pants and y'all, whatever y'all have going on, then you wouldn't be here with me right now. And why are you here with me right now? Because my big cousin Tink told you to stay here with me. Well, since she wear the pants in this relationship, I remember hearing her say, you should be nice. And I remember you promising, I will. So what happened to that? Why aren't you doing it? That promise did not count. Wanna know why? Because my fingers was crossed like this behind my back. I said I promised, but I didn't really promise. <laughs> Ooh, I can't stand you. Okay, so why don't you sit then? Have you tried sitting? 
Okay, Layla, that's it. Go to your room, now. Layla, go to your room. I'm serious. I'm serious. Really, Layla? Really, Jimmy? You know what? I'm not even finna do this with you. I'm not gonna argue with no little girl. I'm about to leave you alone, but all I know is you better not touch anything or do anything that has anything to do with making a mess, little girl. <laughs> Um, nothing? Um, yes you are. No, I'm not. Yes you are. Well, what am I doing, Layla? Well, from the look of it, those beautiful eyes on my beautiful faces, you was watching, um, what's that video of Evil Little Cousins Part 2? That's nothing. No, bro, that's, that's definitely, that, that's something. You don't have anything to do, huh? Why are you bothering me for? Well, Since everything you do has to do with you making a mess, I got a solution. How about you take a nap? Mm, I'm not tired. How about you go take a nap? Oh my gosh, little girl. But it has to be something for you to do. Well, now that, now that you say that, I I am sort of hungry. Maybe I could just cook. You can't cook. Yeah. Well, I am kind of tired, so I guess we can fix something to eat. But after we fix something to eat, you got to take a nap. Do we have a deal? No, no deal. There's only a deal if you let me cook by myself. And Layla, what are you going to cook? Hmm. Hot dogs. I guess that's not too hard to make. Okay, you can make hot dogs. Hey, I think you're too a little too big for this pot. I wonder do we have any bread for you? Come on, get in! Get Layla, in. what are you doing? Um, I'm making those hot dogs, but we only have one dog, so we can split them, right? He, he's big enough for the both of us to eat, right? Layla, we cannot eat the dog! Well, I, I thought you were supposed to use a dog to make hot dogs! No, that is not how you make no hot dogs. Do you know Tink would kill me if she saw you doing this and I'm here supposed to be watching you? Tink wouldn't like that. See, I told you my cousin was a pig! I'm not arguing with no little kid. I already told you that. There gotta be something that you or we could do other than cooking the dang dog. Mm, let's play hide and seek. Hmm. Okay, we can do that. I'll be it and you can hide first. Yes! You're not gonna find me! 17, 18, 19, 20. Ready or not, here I come. Come out, come out wherever you are. I must say, Layla, you're a good hider. I can't find you anywhere. If I don't look for her, then she stays hidden. If she stays hidden, then I don't have to watch her. I'm coming, Layla. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna find you, Layla. I know I'm getting close. Don't you worry. I'm gonna find you. I gotta be close by now. There's not too many places to hide in here. Two hours later. <laughs> So glad to be home. Oh wow! It's actually quiet in here. Oh, he's sleeping. So where is Layla? She's in the kitchen. Okay, so when she's quiet, that means trouble. Not in the bathroom. She's not in her. Jimmy! 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 Oh, hold on, girl. We can. We can't be doing all that. Boy, you wish! Wake up! Huh? What, what's going on? Where is Layla? I don't know. You couldn't find her either, huh? What are you talking about? Did you lose her? Are you telling me you lost Layla? Jimmy, did you leave her in the house by herself? I knew. I just knew. I shouldn't have left. Neither one of y'all here. By yourself. Alone. No, no. She's in here somewhere. 
See what happened was we was playing hide and seek. She started hiding. I started seeking, but I wasn't seeking for long because I got sleepy. So hide and seek turned into hide and seek. My bad. My bad. My bad. Come on, Jimmy. We gotta find her. Layla, you in here? Nope. Layla, you in here? Nope. I don't know. <gasps> the toilet? No. The laundry room. Come on. Layla. I found you. Oh. Layla, what happened to you? Layla said I'm a baby and he's giant. I want to be a giant too. How come I'm this baby? I don't want to be baby. It's not fair. What? That doesn't even make any sense. He's only bigger than you because he was born first, Layla. Exactly. Y'all are both kids. Ain't no giants in this house but me and her. And these two giants, we about to go to the store. I was going to leave y'all here by yourselves, but after all this thing happened, I don't know if y'all can handle it. What do y'all think? Mm. No, no, no. We can handle it. I'm big girl. I'm big boy. Okay, now. Y'all let me come back to a mess. Because y'all know what'll happen if it's a mess up in this house. Oh, no, 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 no. No mess will be made in this house. No. Sit in your room and play with your toys or watch TV. That's it. But that's boring. What we bored then? Oh, fine. I just read you a bedtime story, Layla. Yay! Story time, story time. Have you ever heard of the great Googly Moogly? And they came out the Moogly Lagoon and it's a Zach! What, Uncle? It's just a story. It's not true. Why would you try to scare her? That makes no sense. You gonna make me change my mind? No, Uncle, no! I'm just joking. It just, Layla, I'm gonna tell you a good story. I, I promise, I'm gonna tell a good story. Tell Layla you're sorry. But I just said, I'm sorry, Layla. It, it's not true. Just bad. You know what? We'll be back in 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. We're not gonna be gone long, y'all. Be good. Chuck, 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 What's wrong, Zachy? I'm just so bored, man. There's nothing to do in here. What do you even mean, Zachy? It's a whole TV out there. You can go and watch TV. I don't want to watch TV, dog. <gasps> you want to play a game? Let the world 
down like that. You're too very human. But since you chose to play, I get to go first, okay? Oh! You're first there. I think you should go to the room and mess up my uncle's clothes. But remember the world that we live in. I want you to dig your nose and eat your boogers. Oh no! Uh -uh, that, that is disgusting! I'm not doing that! I'm not eating my boogers! You know what? You know what? I'm quitting this game! You don't play fair, I quit! Mm. 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 Okay, I got something like dirty cat. She doesn't want to complain with me. She doesn't even want to be my friend anymore. All she did is quit, quit, quit. That's all babies do is quit all the time. That's okay. You never quit on me. I don't quit till I'm done and ready to play. I don't want to play anymore. That's when we stop playing. Oh, Layla! What do you want? I'm going to show you something. without you watching TikTok. Oh, really? I, I, I've been bored without you, Zach. I was just thinking maybe we could just play that game of yours one more time, please. Nah, I'm having fun without you. I don't want to play that game anymore. Plus, I don't want to hear you cry like a little girl anymore. And plus, you already lost. You, you made the world and you let all of us down. I I'm not gonna quit like you. I'm not a baby. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to win. I don't lose. Why are you doing all that? What's all that for? <laughs> No! 
out all land. No way, bro. Are you crazy? Do you remember what you said about the world? If you don't do your dare, what happens? Uh, the world comes to an end. I was just saying that to scare you. Say you never know with those two. Yeah, like like it's maybe like a little too good to be true to have those two here and it be no mess. Those two are very tricky too, especially that Zach. But when you put those two together, oh Lord. Oh Lord is right. But don't let Layla's cuteness trick you into thinking she can't be bad. She can be bad by herself without Zach. Well, I guess I don't see no mess, babe, so. I guess they passed the test. Yeah, but we don't need to tell them that it was a test because if we tell them that it was a test, babe, they're going to turn our house into a whole zoo. They're going to start going crazy acting like animals. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We do have to keep those eyes wide, wide. I wonder where they're at. <laughs> I wanted to call you guys in here and just let you guys know that we're proud of y'all and I just wanted to say how do you guys feel about staying home by yourself? Did you have fun? Yeah! We, we had, had lots of fun, fun you know, doing, doing our chores and watching TV. TV. Yeah, that's what we did. Yeah, and we had a good time. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And we played dare. Dare? What exactly did y'all dare each other to do? 
Yeah, what dares? Because in the past, stop saying it. Stop. I sure do remember your dares causing a lot of trouble for the both of you. Oh no, it wasn't anything like that, right, Layla? It was more of uh, I would dare her to, you know, mop the kitchen and the floor. Yeah, and then I dared Zach that he couldn't vacuum the floor in five seconds. Oh, so y'all playing cleanup? I like that. <laughs> I dared her to pack the clothes in, so she's really just talking backwards. Oh, okay. Well, babe, I guess they do know how to stay home by themselves without tearing the place up. Yeah, I agree, babe. Maybe when we leave, we should make a mess and leave it for them to clean up. Well, we're about to go to our friend's house since we know that y'all can behave being home alone. Yeah, but... <sighs> Wait, I gotta use the bathroom. No! Girl, I can use the bathroom when I want to. You can't! Layla, why not? I gotta use the bathroom. Because Zach made me eat a whole bag of Takis and now my tummy is on fire. Cause fire alarm is And then, you know, I just have to make poop. I gotta go. Who did that? Why would he make that looker eat a whole bag of Takis? <laughs> that was a close one. Now you know you flat out wrong. Why'd you do that to Layla? Why'd you dare her to do that? What, Uncle? You what, Uncle me? You made her eat a whole bag of Takis? You did really what? Zach? You know she's so young, her butt in there on fire. Now it's gonna stink and I can't use it. Uh, she said she was hungry. Let me go check her. I gotta hurry up and get rid of all this water. Because me and Zach are gonna put in trouble. I can't get in trouble. No, I have to save us both. Um, so would you want to explain to me what this is on my floor? Huh? If you can huh, you can hear. Exactly. He heard me. So please explain to me how there is flour on my floor from all the way over there. What was y'all doing in this kitchen with the whole bag of flour? Uh, so basically, um, Layla said she was hungry and she said she wanted Takis. Her stomach was feeling for Takis. So I said, okay, I'll cook them. So I needed flour to make Takis because I looked it up on, on Google, the internet. And basically Layla spilled the flour right there. No, uh-uh. Babe, he's lying. And if he over here lying, Layla lying too. That's why she told you could Oh, uh, she ain't making no poop. Oh, I'm gonna beat this little bitch. <gasps> hey, cousin T. Jimmy, come here. I can't believe this. So when was y'all gonna come? Look at this. Layla, what in the world? Exactly. So when was y'all gonna tell us that the bathroom was messed up? And y'all really tried to lie. Zach, come here. Y'all really tried to lie. Y'all way out of this. Layla, be quiet. Yeah, be quiet because all y'all been doing is straight lines to our face. You knew my stomach hurt, now I got bubble guts in my stomach hurting. But beside the fact, what were y'all gonna do when we left, huh? Y'all gonna flood the kitchen sink too? But no, I did not say don't say a word. I can't believe the two of you. We thought y'all was on your best behavior. Turns out you was on your worst behavior. Now what are we supposed to do when we leave y'all here alone? We can't even trust y'all. Uh -huh. look, did not say be quiet? Babe, calm down, I have a solution. I'm gonna call y'all grandma to come watch y'all. Grandma! Yeah, grandma, I said it. Since y'all can't seem to just sit down in one place and watch TV like we told y'all to, I'm gonna call your grandma to come watch you. Mm-hmm, yep. Y'all too bad, but definitely won't be able to do this when grandma's over. But cousin, grandma is so mean to us. Plus, I know you smell it. She smells like pee-pee and peppermint. Oh, well, you should have thought about that before y'all tore our house up. But you know what? She's been dying to come over here anyways to watch both of y'all bad behind. I need you to come watch Zach and Layla. All right, sweetie, be there in the gym. And who at my door? I don't want her to watch us. She stinks. I know, right? But this is your fault. My fault? Yes, your fault. We shouldn't have played your stupid, mean game. Oh, but wait, that's all. Ma, what are you? I'm here to watch the kids. Now get out of my way. <gasps> Go. 
good. Well, we're about to go out and get something to eat. Don't ask for nothing because I ain't getting you nothing. We'll be back tomorrow. Morning. You mean y'all are really leaving us here with <laughs> Yes. Now we'll see y'all tomorrow. Yeah. Later tomorrow. They really left us. It's game time now. Game time? Yes, my plan. Plan. Run Grandma away. Are you ready? Okay, how the kids go? Hey, baby, yeah, we, we're doing just fine, but, but I gotta play. Yeah, you go over there, you just squirt her. Okay, got it, so I just squirt and don't stop squirting. Oh my gosh, bro. Why am I? She gave my headphones away. 
mad at me. Oh, I'm not mad anymore. <gasps> really? Yep. So do you have any more of that silly, icky, icky stuff? Any more of this? Oh, you bet I do. Oh, really? So uh, how much we talking? Just no. I have just enough. So what you thinking? I think we're thinking the same thing. Man, there's gonna have so much to clean up. I feel bad for them. I know, right? I can't wait to see their faces when they get back here. Wait, maybe we should stop late. They're gonna be mad at us. teacher, bruh, so we had to walk in a side line, bruh. She dropped her pencil in front of me, bruh. When she dropped the pencil, she bent over on me, bruh, and then she actually bumped me. She turned around and said, excuse me. I said, okay, cool. Maybe she don't. But then, we got to the dang lunch table, bruh, and you know, it was stuffed meatloaf Thursday. I hate that stuff, so I was just sitting at the table. She dropped her pencil again, bro, and then she stayed under the table for like 1.5 seconds. I know she was looking at my thing, bro, and on top of that, I know she going to Latavia's party, bro. Latavia who? What you mean Latavia who? The girl with the stank breath, but I always talk to her because you know she got that gum and you know I always want something. I don't never got no pencil. You know exactly what I'm talking about, bro. Jamil! Hold on, bro. This lady always calling me, man. Jasmine. My mama, bro. Hold on. Man. I'm gonna call you right back, bro. Yes. Uh-uh, you need to lose your attitude when you talk to me, little boy. You must forgot who I am. I'm the one who's had bills in this house. When you pay some bills, then you can talk crazy. But until then, you say yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. Do you understand me? Yes, I understand. Guess who? Yes, who you understand? Who? Yes, yes, yes what? Yes, ma'am, I understand. Come over here and give me this electricity bill so I can pay this electricity bill for we ain't got no power in this house. You Do you want to pay the electricity bill since you, you just want to have a smart mouth with your mama? It's so it should be up here in this bag, though. Mom. What, Jamel? 
It ain't no way you talking about this purse, bro. You're literally right by it, bro. A whole baby could take two baby steps and make it to this purse. There's no way you got a big foot. You can make it in one. Why didn't you just get it, mom? Why you had to call me and get it? Excuse me? Who are you talking to? I got on your mother. You do not talk to me any type of way. I already told you when you was over there. Now, first of all, yes, that is the bag that I need my stuff out of. If I call you in the bag was sitting up here, I want you to get me the stuff out of the bag that's sitting up here. Don't, don't do me like that. Don't, don't start with me. Not today. I'm not in the mood for your stuff today, Jamil. Not today. Here. Jamil, just, you don't follow any rules. I asked you to give me this. Give me my electricity bill out of my bag. This way your dad gon' grace is like this. You don't follow rules, Jamil. You, this little boy do not follow rules. I don't know who. Man, man, I asked you to give me this. Not my dad gonna purse you. Get out of my room. Get, get out. Get out right now. But I still gave you the purse and it's in the purse. Get out. Bob, get right. out. Do you need anything else? What? Wait, why is why is my bill six hundred and fifty three dollars? Damn, bro, I can't never do this TikTok right, bro. I'm never gonna become TikTok famous. I don't do this right. Bro, she always calling me, man. Dang. God, bro. Can't take this no more, bro. God, please, bro. You only got one more year, bro. Just stick it out, bro. I know she got the elephant ears, too, bro. Yes, ma'am. I really tell this little boy, you gonna pay for this electricity bill, and don't ask me how, cause you know I'm already tell you how you gonna pay for it. Is you gonna take your little narrow behind in there, and you gonna work it off. You gonna cook me some food. You gonna clean my whole entire house. If I want you to do my toes, you gonna do my toes. If I want you to clean my bathroom, I'm gonna, ooh, I'm gonna you to clean my bathroom, clean my. Food. I want you to do all that. Now go in there and get my dad off food. Make me some food right now, boy. Fine, bro. You better be lucky. Mr. Attitude, where's my remote at? Oh my gosh, bro. I need her to take me to this part in my room. Let's go, bro. I'm not even gonna say nothing, bro. Here you go, bro. Who's my dad gonna remote? And my name is Trisha the Minnesota Brown. If you wanna call you on a full name, little boy, you better get the whole thing correct. Now go cook my food, cause I'm hungry. Hey. Finally, what took you so long? Girl, I told you I was gonna call you back. You know, I have to go finish eating my vegetables so I can get baby strong for you. OMG, boy, stop. You did Mr. Johnson homework? Yeah, I did it. Uh, can I cheat off you? You know how you do my homework. I don't ever do my homework. Ugh, why don't you? Because I'll be too busy talking to you. Trying to make you my girl. <laughs> you going to the party? Yeah, I'm going. Are you? Yeah, my mom already said I could go, you know. You know I me, mean? I'm getting big and strong now, so she she trusts me out there on my own. Oh, uh, is that really what you think? So I'ma see you there now. I already told you I'ma be there. 
all right, cool that. All right, then. All right, I'm, I gotta wash the dishes, so I'm gonna call you back later so I can see that sexy face. <laughs> all right, bye. All right, see you later. Bye. Let's go. All right, man. I'm finna go in there, bro. I'm finna tell you trying to strip like this. You taking me to that party, bro. I'm going to that party. You gonna drop me off and you gonna pick me up. And I don't need you picking me up till I call you, bro. Yeah, you gonna pick me up when I call you. And it's at 11:30, not 10. I'm too old to be coming next to you. Yeah, and I'm going just like that. I want to hear nothing else about it. I'm going. Come on, baby. You can come, man. Come on. Mm. I'm sorry, for stink. Molly G, where's mine? What a crowd up your buddy died. Jesus Christ. Now, Jamel, you need to stop doing all that. I be seeing them underwear you be wearing, and they be having the little doo doo stains in them. You didn't even do the stains in your toilet, so don't come for me. What do you want? Cause I'm not gonna let you get me all routed up today. What What do you want? What did you come in here for? You always trying to bring up the past, mom. Can we look into the future, like talking about if I can go to this party, please? Party? Who, who party you go? Who party are you going to? Mom, little Jobo from down the street. Y'all remember he always used to get bullied all the time, and you made me be his friend. He grown now. He having a 12th birthday party. I really want to go. He invited me over. He said I should come. He don't got nobody else coming, so I want to go. Please. Little Jobo, like little little Jobo with the with the big big sister. Uh, what? What time is what time is this party? All right, before you say no, ma, just hear me out. The party ends at eleven thirty. <laughs> but 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 you can come pick me up at eleven twenty-five. I'll be ready at eleven twenty, ladies. I promise. You eleven thirty. You gonna walk in my house at 11 30? You. Oh no, sir. Not happening. No, sir. Why? Why can't I go? See? That's why I'm tired of parents. I can't wait till I'm old enough to get out of this house. Because it's stuff like this, mom. Like, why can't I just go to the party? It's a birthday party. The kid get bullied. Just let me go. You're bullying him by not letting me go. Who are you talking to? One, I said no because I'm your mother. You do not question me. Don't question me. I brought you in this world. I can take your little behind out of it. Now, two, I have things to do at 10 o'clock at night. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You always making up excuses, man. All the time, bro. That's why you ain't got no man out, because you always got excuses. Bye. I don't care. I'll find my own way to the park and back home. I swear, I swear bro. Uh, this boy this lady always, always needs need something. something. She, she never, never want to do, do nothing. nothing. Nothing for nobody else. All she do is sit on that phone all day, day, day. Jeez, bruh, she's so lazy. other girls man you know after i drop like 60 70 buckets these girls be trying to holler at the kid they know i'm about to go all the way you know i just missed the drive this year but you know i'm gonna be i'm gonna enter the drive next year no oh, hold on oh man this little boy better answer this phone boy he better answer it before i knock him upside he said he better be upstairs on the phone the little girls tell look i love you but you know i'm young so i love a lot of girls man bro hold on i'm gonna call you right back no it's not a girl it's not bro but just hold on man Hello, Mom. Jamel, come help your mama out in the car. I need, I need you to help me get some stuff out of this car, son. Oh, every time you call me, why you can't just do it yourself? Uh-uh, excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm coming, Mom. And hurry up, little boy, because it's hot out here. I ain't getting no younger, and this sun is frying me like I'm a little egg or something. Oh, we know. I be seeing them wrinkles. I say find a girl that's like your mom, man. I hope I don't find no girl like mom. Come on, man, boy, it's hot out here. I'm ready to get out of this car. What, Ma? Use your 90 year old brain to get out the car. I don't see no groceries. What you need help with, Ma? Just come open my door for me, please. Ma, bro, I, Ma, I know. No, I ain't what. You, you know I ain't what. I've been working all day to make sure you got a roof over your nappy. Okay, okay. I open the door, Dan. You about to go carrying on me, bro? I open the door. I got a roof over here. I did it fine, bro. God. Nah. Dang, Jamel, you can at least open the door all the way. You know my arms are hurting from carrying all this body, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy on me, boy. Ma, now you know you ain't got no body, yaddy, yaddy. Jamel, be quiet here. Hold this. Oh, oh. Gosh, just put, just put my bag in here. Guys, bro, you can at least have the door for me. I thought your arm hurt. How you was able to bust through here like that? Well, I'm glad I'm not in there. Jamel! Come here, boy! 
Yes, ma'am. Bring me, bring, come grab this tissue for me right here, please. Uh -huh. You want me to come in there right now? Can't you just reach and get it? I want you to come in there after you done. Maybe you can wipe your butt later. I see why you be having doodle stains in your dad going to drive away. No, I can't wipe my butt. Bro, I don't think she letting you come over this weekend, bro. She just tried to get me to wipe her behind, and I said no. Wipe her behind? Yeah, her behind. She just tried to get me to wipe it like she has some nursing home, like she's some old lady or something, bro. Bro, come on, bro. Just ask her. Bro, I'm not trying to ask. Bro, please. All right, bro. I ask her, bro. All right, leave. Oh, I'm trying to get me in trouble. Bro, I was trying to get me in trouble. I told her my mama going to say no. I just told her I wasn't wiping her behind, bro. Hey, mom. But what? I didn't told you. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to figure out if my friend can come. Can come where? Do your friend got a ride? Because once I'm in this bed, I'm not leaving. Yes. He has one here, but he needs one home. You don't listen, do you? I just said, once I'm in my bed, I'm not getting out. I don't care if the house on fire. I'm not getting out of my bed. Mama, he ain't got no mama. Can you, can you just get him? He only stays right across the road. He ain't got no mama. What? See, now you, you're just trying to get your friend over here making up. So how? How he get in the world then? Oh, you know, I don't even care. I'm not going to get him. He he can ride a bike or something. Mama, please. I'll do anything. Please. Oh, you'll do anything. Mama, buy my water for me then. Mama, it's right there. Look down. You legally blind? Oh. <laughs> Come give it to me then. Mama, it's right. I know that, but that's the rules. You seen it first. And it's your friend like right across the street. What rules? I ain't never even heard of that before. The rules in my house that I just added to the list. Ma, what list? The top secret rules that if you don't do, I'm gonna beat you up behind with my top secret belt. Well, that sounds... Yeah? Okay. What I do with this belt sounds like? Too shame. On the other end, I think I can get that for you. I told you to hand it to me. Just for that, he ain't coming over here. But I... <laughs> Tell it to your Yes, I think I've seen you before on Hot Boy 101. What you know about that? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Jamil. Jamil, come into this door real quick. You realize the door is literally three feet away from both of us, so I think you should go since you heard it first. Remember your rules? Well, I done told you about talking while I'm on the daggone phone, boy. And, and actually, I got two feet, you little smart behind. I got two, not three. You know what? I do remember the rules, but when you make the rules, you can change the rules. So go into that door. Bro, you're right there. You get it. And who you on the phone with anyway? I hope you ain't on the phone with nobody on that dang day. It's like, you must have told them folks you lazy, huh? Hold on. L let me call you right back. Boy, you, you let me get off the phone before you say something like that. Them folks can hear you. I'm trying to make us some money. I, man, just go into the daggone door. Mom, did you just come for work? You need to stop being so lazy, man. I know it ain't my friend Demarcus, I know that. Ma, ain't nobody out here? Now I know I'd have heard somebody knocking at my door. And let me tell you something. If today, today, ooh, today is Friday. If my package was supposed to come today. So if that was my package that I missed because you wanted to take so long to open the door where by somebody else, I'm gonna pack you up and I'm gonna ship you. Ma, my fault? Yes, Jamil, your fault. You know what? You're just lazy. You're lazy just like your daddy. Don't ever put me with nobody that's lazy. This is exactly why I left him. I can't be with him. He's so lazy. But ain't you. Talk about my daddy. You the one who's lazy. That's why he like you. Y'all left each other. Y'all was an equal agreement. Don't nobody want to be with nobody who's lazy. You're right. Because you're lazy. I'm sick of you, bro. You got something to get off your chest, little boy? Nope. You're the best. Not lazy. Never asked your son to do anything, mother ever. Oh, son. That just warms mommy's heart so much. You make sure that when you get your girlfriend, 
she is just like your mama. I mean, just like me, okay? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and close your door so you can have your little long time or whatever. That boy ain't gonna never get him no girl acting like that. Ugh, I hope my girl don't ever act like that. I'm gonna leave her butt in the woods. Matter of fact, I might just be single all my oh life. Oh my goodness gracious, bro. I am starving. I can eat a house, a cat, a dog, a cow, or a bird, or whatever, bro. I can eat anything. Hmm, let's see. What do we have in... It is really nothing in this refrigerator, bro. No, I just I just whip something together. That is what I will do. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I'm hungry. Mom, can you take me to McDonald's? I heard they got the new sweetie meal. Do you have McDonald's money? I mean, yeah, I do actually. But only for me. But since you ain't got no money for me, I ain't got no gas for you. And plus, I don't feel like going anyway. I can't wait till I get my own car, man. Because this is the type of stuff I've been talking about. I just want to go get something to eat. You won't even take me. Wait till you get old. You better ask to ride in my car. I ain't taking you, my boy. How about that? Boy, hush your mouth. Come on and sit down. I have already fixed dinner, so I'm, I don't even know what you're talking about. Just come and enjoy. Fine, bro. I eat the dang food, bro. Come on, leave. Now, mom. I know, son. You ain't even gotta say it. I already know. It looks better than McDonald's. I know. They might as well just go ahead and give me a deal, huh? But, uh, can you just pass me that fork right there? You know what you think this look better than McDonald's, ma? You really gonna eat that? I'm not passing you no fork. And in no way you talking about the fork right there. It's right there, mom. Grab it. First of all, yes, I am talking about the fork that is sitting right there. You are very much ungrateful. I just sat here and slaved over this whole entire dinner for me and you. For us to have a mother and son dinner together. And now you over here just, just bashing my food. That's really how you feel. I go to work. I come home. I cook for you. I got to put up with all your mess. I got to take you to basketball practice. Take you to football practice. Ask you to do this. Ask you to do that. You should just want to do it for me. And you sit here talking about my food. I, that hurts my feelings, son. Hurt your feelings? Man, it's going to hurt my stomach. It's about all oh, Jamel. I take you to football practice. I take you to basketball practice. Well, guess what, mama? I go to basketball practice and football practice with that in my stomach. They're going to keep me off the team because of my diet. It's horrible. And all you talk about, oh, I do this for you, Jamel. I do that for you, Jamel. Why well, you go get my friend now, huh? Why you go get him and stay right across the street? He's all about, oh, I'm not getting out the bed even if it was a fire. But you get out the bed to cook this. You need to throw this in the fire, mama. I can't believe you. You really going to sit here and talk to your own mother like that. The person that just sat here and slaved over this dinner for 30 whole minutes to make sure you had something to put in your stomach, to make sure you had food in your stomach, to make sure you were well taken care of. I put a roof over your head. I put clothes over your back. I put shoes on your crusty toes. You know, I just do so much for you and you just treat me like this. I don't understand how. I'm the who brought you into this world. I carried you for nine months. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine months. I went through all that pain for you. For you to come out ungrateful like this? Really? Well, I'll be. I never asked you to bring me in this world. In 30 minutes? You mean 30 seconds? I could have cooked this with my eyes closed and on top of that, you talk about you brought me in this world? You gonna take me out of here with that? You know, I just don't know what to do with you anymore. You are very, very disrespectful. Like, I brought you in here, you talking about, well, with this food, I can tell you, you know what? If I really wanted to take you out, I could have been did it. You know, I should have been did it the way you talking to me. Next time, you know what? Ask your daddy to make you some food. How about that? Ask your daddy, your lazy daddy. He just lazy. He don't want to take care of you, but I'm taking care of you. And you, you know what? I'm done. I'm so done. I'm, I'm not doing this no more for you at all. No, this food is disrespectful. And since we're on that topic, I'm not asking either one of y'all to do nothing for me. Why? Because y'all both lazy. That's why y'all split up, because y'all both want each other to do stuff. But shoot, I be doing stuff for both of us, so I might as well think for you, huh? Oh, okay, so what am I thinking now? <sighs> Go get the belt. Can't wait to go to this party tonight, bro. It's gonna be super lit, bro. Your mom said you can go. Come on, bro. You know she said I can go. I told her I was going anyway, bro. And on top of that, she even said she's gonna drop me off. You know she's mad lazy. But, bro, I can't wait. As long as I get a dance from this girl, bro, I don't care what goes on after that, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You need that dance. But on top of that, bruh, it's like my first party I'm ever going to, so I have to make a good impression on old girl, bruh. She'll never talk to you again if you don't make a good impression on Oh, yeah. What time are you going? Around 5.45. Oh, that's cool. Oh, what you wearing, bruh? I have to look my best for this girl. I can't go in there smelling like yesterday. On God? Oh, yeah. On, on God, I can't go in there smelling like yesterday, bruh. Hold on. Bruh, I'll be back, bruh. Hold on. Uh, hurry up, bruh. Yes, ma. Yeah, what time? Huh, did you want something? I'm trying to figure out why you still busting in my room like you some kind of crazy. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. No, I, 
on you ain't sorry what you supposed to do before you walk in my room boy not first huh i i, I can't hear you not first so why didn't you do it if you know you're supposed to be knocking on my door boy you know what when the young be here and i'm gonna get my little groove on doing what i do and my goodies they're just gonna be all out and you know what my you ugh. i do not want to have that image in my head please stop go back the way you was and we're gonna try this one more time. Ah, come on. I was on the phone. Come on, please. Get out. <sighs> Hello? You still there, bro? Yeah, bro. Oh, my God. You there, bro? Bro, I just see you at the party, bro. Dang, it's like that. All right, let's. All right. Can't wait till I get out of this house. I'm tired of reporting to my mom. Now that's better. So, is there anything you want? Yeah, um. Now I know I'm not sure about this. I hope I'm not sure about this, but mom, I know you're not talking about that bag of chips that's sitting right there in front of you. Yes, boy, that one right there. Man, when I tell you my back hurts so bad, I can't bend over, lean forward, lean to the sideways. Thank you. Is that it? Is there anything your body can't possibly reach now? Is that an attitude out here? Nope, no attitude over here, mom. I didn't think so. Now, bye. <laughs> favorite color is it don't matter bro i'm just gonna kill it with my personality i'm gonna hit it with a joke or two i'm gonna be like guess who's loud annoying and guess who's always yelling my name never fails god bro i can't never get a break bro come in look at you starting to learn something Excuse me? My feet, boy. Come, come rub my feet. My dog's starting to bark and whew, I ain't even talking about Nick. Come on now. Um, come on now. They they ain't gonna rub themselves. You wanna you wanna go to that party, right? Yes. Less whining and more rubbing. I know why you wanna go to that party. It's probably gonna be nothing but fast tail, little nappy head. I know it used to be like that back in my day. Oh, don't look. Oh, don't look. Uh-uh. What are you even doing? You're not even rubbing my feet. You're just down there playing with my little toes. Nicks could do a better job than this. You know, just get back and get out because I don't know what you are doing. <laughs> Definitely a near-death experience. I will never touch another set of toes in my life, bro. Oh my god, I can't believe she made me do that. Jamie! Oh, what is she want now? God, I can't take this nasty, stinking, thirty-foot lady that call mom. Excuse me, did you did you say something? No, ma'am. Good boy. Now go grab your mama key so we can go ahead to this store. But mom, it's already getting late and the party starts at six. Maybe you could drop me off before or after we go to the store so that way I can make it on time. So who will get the groceries at the store if I drop you off before I go to the store? And who in they right for mom? Please tell me is gonna bring them groceries in this house if I drop you off before I get back to the house. Um, you? <laughs> Hey, let's go. What's taking you so long, Ma? Uh, don't act like you ain't got no common sense now. You know your mama cannot get to the car by herself. You know the drill. Come on and pick your mama up and take me to the car. But Ma, you can you do it. You still wanna go to that party, right? Yes, ma'am. Come on now. Hey, ah, ah, my back, my back. Be careful when you pick me up. Oh, my back, my back. All right, Jamel, so you make sure you give me everything off this list. I'm ready to go back to my house and get my bed. My back is killing me. Here, boy, go get it. Okay. Mom, where's the rest of the list? What do you mean? That's it. That is everything on my list, boy. Really, Mom? You had me drag you all the way down here, picking you up and stuff just to get some ice cream? Just ice cream? 
Well, you can't allow me in this place. Don't do that. You got these people looking at me like I'm crazy. Mm -hmm. Know what? You forgetting something. Oh, I forgot. Uh, no, ma'am. I didn't think so. Now go get my ice cream without whooping your friend. You got these people looking at me. I'm going to get them something to watch. Keep playing with me. And you better pay for it, too. I left my coin purse at the house. Are oh you so weak? I need another sun. Oh my gosh, we weak. weak. Man, put me on the bed and I gotta watch the story. Be careful when you put me on my gun. Oh my god. All right, mom. I'm all sweaty. I'm gonna go take a shower and then after that, I'm ready for you to take me to the party. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You always do this, but I can't wait to move out this house, bro. Now you know your mama can't move around on her own. I got a bad back, bad knees, and bad toes. Take me to the bathroom real quick, and, and after I finish using the bathroom, I'll take you to that party. And while you at it, can you put my slippers on my feet? Ma. Hurry up before I pee on myself. And while I'm on the toilet, if you want to go to that party, clean my room up and put my ice cream in the freezer, and don't forget to make my bed up. Did you not hear what I just asked you? You don't understand. No, ma'am. Yo, I'm grateful, but I better be thankful that I still go to work and I slave my butt off just to pay some bills in this house for your grown self to still be staying here. I'm too old for you to be putting me through all this stuff that you put me through, little boy. Ma, ain't nobody throwing anything out here. Boy, My daddy, my daddy lazy, no, you lazy. You literally got somebody to take you to the toilet. I might as well wipe your butt too. What's up, bro? Yeah, I'm still going to the party, bro. Because my mom getting on my nerves. That's why I sound like that. Cause she lazy, bro. When I say lazy, I mean super lazy. I can't wait till I graduate, bro. I'm so sick of this lady, bro. She got me taking her to the toilet, bro. I might as well wipe her butt. You know how it is going in the school bathroom, bro. But yes, I'm coming to the toilet in a second, bro. I'll see you at the party, Jamil! bro. Jamil! Jamil, come get me off this toilet, boy. Oh, my stomach hurts so bad. I think I ate too much ice cream. Jamil! Oh, Lord, that ice cream that tore my stomach. Oh, I ain't eating that no more. Jamil! What do you want, lazy lady? I know your narrow behind did not just walk in here without knocking on the door. Try it again. Oh my god. Come in and hand me that air freshener right there because that ice cream did tore me up. Oh, I'm a little gassy. <sighs> just smell like something died in here. Well, just pick me up and take me back to my room. Any day, patiently waiting. <laughs> Why you act like I stink so bad like you don't stink? And then you act like I didn't have to change your dirty pimples all my life. Are you ready now? Just give me a minute. My stomach hurt from that ice cream. I really think I'm lactose intolerant. I just need a minute to myself. What you just? Oh, I need my own car, man. Ma, it's been 20 minutes. Can you take me to the party now? Mama, come on. I'm late, but I'm not that late. Hmm. Gosh, this little boy. Come on and just take me to this car since you act like you about to lose your mind about this daggone party. And then you know what? Come back up here and get my pillows and my snacks. You need to go to the gym. Boy, just hush your mouth and move it. Come on now. And while you going back up there, here, download that little app to my phone so I can watch the stories while I wait on your little butt. 
What you mean, wait on me? Boy, you heard me. I am not coming back to this apartment. How do you expect me to get back upstairs to the house if you are not here to carry me back up there? By using the two legs that God unfortunately blessed you with. Boy, you got two hours. When we get there, I'm going to park on the side of the house, eat my snacks, and I'm going to watch my story. Don't make me embarrass you in front of your little friend. How do you treat me like this? Bruh, you ain't gonna believe it. Then on top of that, bruh, she said I can only stay at the party for two hours. Bruh, how am I supposed to impress Alexis in two hours? A dude like me need at least five hours to impress a dang girl. I can't wait to get out this house. It's ugly. Yeah, okay. I don't know why you don't just go home and wait instead of sitting here looking like a weirdo parent. Where is the... That's a... Ma, come on, Ma, stop. Why you... Ma, can I just stay for one more hour, please? Well, what you think I am? A taxi driver or something? I ain't no Uber. I got work in the morning. Now, take your little narrow behind back in there. You got 40 minutes. Um, Before you go in there, can you get my little blanket and pillow so I can take me a nap? I'm supposed to be at the party. She always... Here. Should have just got it on your own. What in the tarnation is that? Bro, is she gonna open the door or not? She noticed her fine son waiting on her to let me in. Boy, you must be trying to get hurt. No, Ma. I was just trying to get you to unlock the door so I can get in the car. Boy, come on and get in here so I can go back to my house. Let your window up, boy. It's cold out here. And you want to forget about me, ignore me, and just leave me here? Ain't nobody tell you to sit in the car and wait on me like a weirdo. You should have just waited in the house. I would have called you when I was ready. I don't understand why you so lazy, bruh. If they had a war for the laziest person, I swear you'd win it. Ow! What did you do that for? Can't wait to get away from you. Just pick me up and take me in the house, boy. Patiently waiting. Just moving like you, you ain't got nowhere to be. Can you hurry up, please? Jesus, I'm so sick of your lazy behind. You had the nerve to walk up the stairs slow like I had somewhere to be. Remember earlier how you said I need to get in the gym? You need to go and get in the gym. And just to get you started, go run and get my pillows, my blanket, and my snacks and bring them back to me. Oh, and wait, before you go, um, press that button and turn that TV on so I can finish watching my stories, please. Bro, oh, my gosh, man. Oh, I tell you, kids nowadays don't know how good they have it. Jeremy! What? Come put my cover over me and adjust my pillow until I'm comfortable. And make sure my food is hot enough for me. And don't forget to water when you come, too. How can I help you? I said, bring me my food and don't forget the water. Way to go to school tomorrow to get away from this dang lady. She really get on my nerves. Here you go. Give me this. Yes, ma'am. Never mind, since you want to act like somebody bothering you, just go and run my water so I can take me a bath. Oh my gosh, bruh. Now you know come next week, you will want to go to another party. And who gonna take you? Oh, okay, you better recognize. Now go ahead. <laughs> I'm way too graduated high school, man. I am not staying in this house and going to college. I'm going straight to college campus. I see why everybody always go to college campus. <gasps> Hello? How you doing? Yeah, I had fun at the party with you too. You want to come over? You serious? Yeah, you can come over. How about tomorrow? Yeah, my mom already said yeah. You ain't got to worry about her. 
Yes, I'm sure. All right, I'm, I'm gonna call you back, all right? Ma, 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 can Alexis come over? Boom.